So this is probably some content that's going to be like, you know, past its expiration date because at this point nobody probably really cares, but I don't know, maybe they will, possibly. Um, so what we're gonna do today is we're going to be replacing the screen protectors on my Galaxy Z Fold 2. So the primary reason I'm doing this is because the uh, external screen protector, which it came with pre-installed, um, the oleophobic, am I saying that right? The oil-phobic <laughs> coating uh, wore out on the outside. And the result uh, was that I had this big patch right through here that was just constantly smudged no matter what I did. I had to constantly keep cleaning it and it, just, it was a disaster. I hated it. My OCD was absolutely running wild. So I had to just remove the whole damn screen protector, which means that I now need a new screen protector. And I figured while I'm doing it, man, I'm probably gonna really regret this, but I'm gonna try to replace this inside. When you can see how big of a fingerprint magnet the, inter the interior screen protector is, um, I'm nervous about doing this screen protector just because the application of said protector is probably really not going to be fun. Um, but we're going to do, we're going to do our best. So I've already removed this external one, so this shouldn't be too bad. But first, this is what we're dealing with here. This is what I, I purchased from Amazon, okay? And this screen protector is, uh, uh purchasable on Amazon for $11.99. There will be a, a link in the old description. Uh, two sets, interior and exterior, decent reviews. We'll see, we'll see how it looks. Let's see what's in the box here. So here are your uh, big screen one. It says they are an unbreakable membrane. Well, there you go. That's what you're after right there. Uh, Z Fold 3, eat your heart out. I don't need any of your PET screen protectors, right? I have an unbreakable membrane. And then we have two more unbreakable membranes uh, for the external screen, which we will be doing first. There is also a whole bunch of other stuff in here. So here's a couple of bits of foam, which I reckon you're meant to like. This is kind of smart. You like stick these on your table and then your phone can't like slide around, right? Pretty smart, I like the way they're thinking. You've also got some guide stickers, a little alcohol wipe, a little microfiber, and a dust sticker to, to quickly get off every little piece of dust. You've got yourself a piece of cardboard. You can never have too many pieces of cardboard, right? I'm, I'm, I'm kidding. Piece of cardboard with some like fabric on it, which I guess you would use as like a squeegee to um, get all the air bubbles out. And you have like, I got four Four, four microfiber-y things, four sticker bags, so many things, and then I got some instructions on how to do it. Okay, so let's go to the overhead camera here, and we will see exactly what we're kind of working with here. Okay, so step one here was to use the little uh, microfiber alcohol pad, whatever, uh, to clean it off. I've used my own pad and my own solution there to, um, not my own like custom-made solution. That would be that would be crazy. Um, just one you can buy. And then if you jump ahead to step three on the handy dandy instruction screen is to use this sticker to go around and just get any dust off of it like that i'm thinking that's pretty dust free step four is to remove the film marked number one which you can see there we're going to peel that off we're going to attempt to place this down in place using the uh, camera as a good guide. Okay, you're then meant to sort of squeeze out the big bubbles, of which there are many. Mine is kind of wanting to not adhere on the edges. It's not wanting to like wrap over. Okay, this is some insanely bad instructions. So this step here says, Lift up and peel film number two, then use the square card to push the film out from the dotted line. Okay, this is number two here. I'm sitting here trying to peel this thing. That's not what they want you to do. They want you to literally flip this up, then grab number two and peel it away. Then grab your card and do that. That is some horrible instructions, but <laughs> whatever. And then I'm assuming you're gonna do the same thing with number three. Grab that, try not to touch the screen.
All right, now we're here. Got a couple of bubbles, nothing too crazy. And now we can peel off the remove me one up top. And that's what we have. Okay, so at this point, I have the external screen pretty much done, and I have currently mixed feelings because when you first just look at it, it looks good, and you can see no bubbles. They've all been taken care of. Um, it feels quite uh, glass-like, quite smooth. It doesn't have too much of a grippiness to it. It's not too bad in terms of fingerprints, and I think that'll actually get better. Um, these screen protectors tend to have a little bit of like adhesive still on them, so the first day or so, you're probably going to be doing some wiping, but the screen protector is already grabbing fewer fingerprints than the old interior screen protector, and I think that will continue to get better. But clarity is quite good overall, although there is, there's one glaring problem here, and I don't know if this is going to go away or not, and I don't know if I can show you this, but we're going to try. If you look right where my middle finger is, and you look very closely, there is a horizontal line right where that break was that is running the entire way across the screen. It's very faint, but it is there. Let me see if I turn off the screen. You can see it in a reflection, perhaps. Do you see that? Do you see that line in the reflection there? Right at the top of the circle of my light bar. Is that going to go away or not? When I'm looking straight at it on some screens, I can see that. And I don't know if that's going to go away or not. It's a pretty strange line uh, to be there. I can't feel it, but I can very much see it. I will let you know if this does go away. So now as far as the interior one, I didn't actually film myself doing it because I, I honestly, I wanted to be able to really do it with full attention and not be narrating and not have a camera on me. What I'll do is I'll show you what their video looks like because it is exactly what the process looked like. And I'll kind of tell you how it went for me. So of course I peeled off my old screen protector very easily. You've seen this done a million times. I used the sticker to get off any and all dust. I peeled off the backing, uh, the backing bit there. I aligned things using the, uh, the camera hole, just like they're showing there. Um, pretty easy to get this thing straight. I did have to kind of readjust it a couple of times, but in general, I got it pretty straight relatively easily. Drop the thing down, and now that I know what the process is, where you're meant to bend the thing halfway back up, and then use the little squeegee card um, to, to press it the rest of the way over. This was relatively easy. In fact, it, it took a very short amount of time and it was, it was exceptionally easy. Just like they're showing there, bend it up, use your card. In fact, I didn't even grab the tab at all. I just used the card to push it. Now, one thing that they just now did there, let's roll back here real quickly. You'll see them reach up and grab and grab that piece there. I'll, I'm going to tell you why. On the interior screen, there's it's it's raised, right? There's a little bit of a raised ledge there, okay? And that bit of um, sheeting there, whatever you want to call it, wanted to slide up against that and actually was wedging itself in. Be careful of that. You don't want that thing jamming up in between your screen and the bezel. So make, make sure, just like they're doing there, you're going to grab this thing and you're going to lift so that it doesn't jam up underneath there. I'm not sure what kind of damage that could cause. Better to be safe than sorry, though, in regards to something like that. Flip it around. Do the other side just the same. Again, make sure you're lifting that thing up. Don't let it slide up underneath anything. See how they ran into the corner here? They're jammed in the corner. Had to pull it out. It's exactly what I'm talking about. So at this point... I had a whole bunch of little bubbles and I had a line right down the center crease and I was thinking to myself, oh man, like this is going to be a disaster. It's going to look absolutely terrible. I did do a little bit of this up the middle just to make sure there was a few bubbles as I could get, but I kept thinking to myself, I can't get all these bubbles out. It was freaking me out a little bit until you'll see here when they peel the final peel off. A lot of the bubbles you may see are not actually between the protector and the screen. They're between these last layers, the layer they're peeling off right now you're going to see some of the bubbles will go away well more of mine went away than that and they are saying here on this interior screen don't go poking at it right you don't want to sit there and push these bubbles out they're saying if you have some bubbles leave them alone they'll go away on their own okay what was my experience did i have bubbles i actually didn't mine went on really really well you may not even believe that it's on here but it is trust me it looks absolutely pristine and i must tell you the clarity of this screen protector versus the old one is absolutely night and day you cannot compare them this looks 
This is the best this screen has ever looked, and it's not even it's not even close. It feels much better. It feels smoother. It feels like glass. Uh, the fingerprint kind of, you know, magnety stuff. Look, I'm going to do some of this, and then I'll let you see. It is still picking up fingerprints. I'm not going to lie to you and tell you that it's not. I, I do think it's going to get better over time, but it's not as bad as it was. But the clarity and the feeling are 15 times better than they were before. This screen, I, I honestly can't get over how good this looks. And on the hinge, it's perfectly adhered and it looks great. And when I'm closing it and opening it, I'm not getting any bubble formation down there like I was on the old screen protector. We'll see if that turns up later. But for now, the inner screen is an absolutely smashing success. It looks and feels fantastic. My only complaint with this right now is that horizontal line. I don't, I don't know if that's going to fly. I may have to peel it off and try the other one and see if I can do better on another try. Maybe I just got a bad screen protector. I don't know. But guys, that is my experience installing the Or Zero screen protectors for my Z Fold 2. I will let you know in the comments if anything happens over time. I'll give you an update. If you want to purchase these, there will be a link in the description. Like I said, I hope this video is helpful to someone. I shed some light on how to install this thing and kind of what it looks like when you're all done for 12 bucks. Probably a pretty safe purchase. Hopefully that line does go away. Stay tuned for more content just like this. And until next time, stay nerdy, my friends.